MAC address. Each network card, whether it's Wi-Fi card or wired card, it has a physical static address assigned by the card manufacturer called the MAC address, Media Access Control. This MAC address is actually written on your card and it's physical, so it, does, it never changes. For your card, for your specific card, for example, for your Wi-Fi card, it will never change. It will always be the same. The MAC address is used between devices to identify each other and to transfer packets in the right direction. This works by each packet has a source MAC and a destination MAC and it travels from the source MAC to the destination MAC. Now because the MAC address is static and it never changes, it can be used to trace you back and to identify your device. Also, since devices use MAC address to identify each other, so for example, you'll have some networks that only allow certain MAC addresses to connect to the network. They use a whitelist. Or they can, they can use a blacklist and blacklist your MAC address so that you cannot connect to that network. So, changing your MAC address can help you either connect to the network by changing your MAC address to one that's in a whitelist, or uh, it could let you bypass blacklists. So, as I said, it's physical and static, so the only way to change the MAC address is to change it in the RAM. So it will only be changed for this session, once you restart your device, you have to change it again. So to do this, it's very simple, we're going to use a tool called MAC Changer. So let's see how we do that. So first of all, to get your Wi-Fi card name, just type in IWconfig, and it will show all wireless cards you have. So here ETH0 has no wireless extensions, and same with LO. And we can see that LAN0 is my wireless card. So I'm just going to disable the wireless card. So if config LAN0 down, that's to disable the wireless card. Now we're going to change the MAC address. We're going to use a tool called MAC Changer. So always with these tools, it's always a good idea to look at the help. So if you just go on MAC Changer, help we'll see all the options that we can use with this tool. So you can use help and version to show the version and help. Show to show your current MAC address. E, so that it doesn't change the vendor bytes, it doesn't change the manufacturer of the MAC address. So another is just to try a random vendor MAC of the same kind. A is just to set a random ven uh, vendor here, the capital A. P, uh, will reset to the original permanent MAC address. So if you change your MAC address and you want to use the old one, you can use P. R will just give you a random MAC address. And L will just print the known vendors that you can use. And M, actually, it'll help you pick your own MAC address. So you can, if, if there is a whitelist, and uh, I'll show you how you can see all connected devices. So if you're a target network, you can see there's, for example, three devices connected. And this network only allows these three devices connect. So you can just take one of those MAC addresses and change it and use it yourself and then try to connect and it will allow you to connect. So let's see how we change the MAC address. We're going to use MAC changer again. And I'm just going to use random to set up a random MAC address. And then we'll put the device name, which is LAN0. So very simple, MAC, MAC changer random LAN0. You can use the M to specify your own MAC address if you want. So I'm going to hit enter. And as you can see, my original one was this. And it's been changed to 98A4B095CAA3. Okay, so now our wireless card is ready and we've changed its MAC address. Now we need to enable it again because we disabled it by typing if config LAN0 down. So we'll do the opposite. We're going to do if config LAN0 up and that's it the card is enabled and its mac address has been changed let's just have a look on it if you type in if config lan 0 now we can see the new mac address showing up in here